What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video, first of all, happy new year guys. Uh, yeah, this is my first video of 2018 and let's just get started with the video. This video is basically a response to this Dan Pride's suggestion that was made three days ago. Can you do a typical type ahead search box which displays the query results in the material data table? Everybody does these get all commands and everybody is looking for a search results. Yeah, yeah, Dan, I could do that. Uh, and yeah, you will be seeing that in this video as well. Actually, this is pretty much a good suggestion. Uh, having a box wherein you can just type in and the rows of the data table would get filtered accordingly uh, based on the query that you typed, right? Uh, it's basically instant search. We did instant search a few weeks back, right? Uh, on my site, uh, I'll link it below. Uh, it's basically asking for that, but rather than the results getting displayed on in a list he wants the results in a uh, we want the results in our data table so uh, let's go ahead and do that guys so basically this is what we have so far right we can just set the filters here and uh, no i'll do the age age lesser than 25 if we give then obviously we'll get these 23 24 and 23 right so this is what we have so far now what we'll be doing is we'll have a simple text field wherein if you just type the rows of the data table would get filtered accordingly based on what you typed in the uh, text box. That's the whole concept of a type ahead, right? So let's uh, do that. Uh, thank you, Dan, once again for the good suggestion. And let's first create the form field. I'll go ahead and copy and paste this here so that there is a new form field. And inside this, what I'll do is I'll add a key key up actually key up event i'll simply do search okay so when the user just types and the key comes up this event would get triggered right and uh, here i'll write some code in order to watch that event search search event uh, let q equals event dot target dot value and uh, what have i done here i'll try to emulate the same here as well I have two subjects and then i have uh, an observable and i'm combining latest and uh, here i'll just you know i can copy paste this i guess In order to save some time obviously okay uh, start that i'll finish fix that here i'll just one if the user presses backspace and there is no uh, value in the search field we'll just give student uh, data so this data source right this dot data source equals this dot uh, no this one reset filter it's basically the same as reset filters right reset filters okay so uh, now what we'll do is uh, start at and end at are two subjects right uh, i'll import subject first subject and observable both i'll import you have rxs yeah here it is observable i already have okay uh, then i'll create uh, two a start at uh, equals new subject end at equals new subject okay and inside ng on in it like i did here observable dot combine latest and all this stuff right uh, ng on in here it is observable dot combine latest of start at and end at so this dot started right this dot started this dot ended dot subscribe uh, value value of zero would be uh, okay i'll write the code there in student service in order to do the query uh, what 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 should i name this type ahead type ahead uh, start value in value okay and inside this i'll simply return return this dot afs dot collection what was it students right students 
ref ref dot uh, order by name not name student name i guess student name dot uh, start at not start after start at uh start value value dot so dot end at end value dot value changes so this will be basically returning an observable right yeah you, you understand what i have done so far right i am simply getting the start value and the end value it's basically the same as instant search that i did a few weeks back guys kindly watch that video once and then uh, if you watch this i think you would get a better understanding with the flow so i am returning an observable which will contain values that start at this star specified start value and end at this specified end value uh, basically the end value would be like starting with that start value and whatever comes after it uh, if you see uh, in app.component.ts that's how we have uh, given this regular expression right uh so yeah uh, what it will do is it will return an observable like that and that observable start value and end value i am looking at the student name field alone okay and uh, that observable if we give it as the input data source to the data table then obviously the rows inside the data table would uh, reflect that observables uh, data right stream of data that's what we are that's what our logic is here uh, so if uh, if these two then it will receive the next two values and uh, i am uh, combining the latest of these two and then subscribing to that so this start uh, student service student student service one student service capital uh, student dot uh, type ahead value of 0 value of 1 one, 1 one. uh actually i'll create a new class that will provide this uh, type ahead data source type ahead data source type type ahead data source and uh, inside this input observable yeah this will return that's it now what i'll do is i'll simply pass uh, uh, where is it where is it yeah the student dot i this will this entire call will return an observable right so i'll i can simply this dot uh, uh, data source equals uh, new type ahead uh, data source of you understand what i'm doing here right uh, this dot data source will is the actual input data source which we are using for the material data table so uh, this dot student dot type ahead will make a call to this uh, function in the service and this will return an observable which i am passing it to the type ahead data source class that i have created below this class contains the connect and disconnect methods so what we will do is uh, we are creating an instance for this class with this observable which means that this when the uh, data table tries to connect with the uh, connect class connect function in the type ahead data source class it will get that observable which means it will simply display the rows returned by that observable right i think i confused you guys but you will understand it better when i show it on screen just look let's run this code and see what happens now we have a field uh, type ahead box here right we should probably give a better Uh, what shall we give? Um, filter by name. Since we already filtered by age and uh, what was the other thing? Grade, right? Age and grade. So we'll just do filter by name. Uh, we'll first do wins. See, you get only the wins uh, row, right? Now, if I backspace it off, I get all the uh, data because. Uh, i gave it like this if q not equals to uh, if q equals nothing then this dot data source will obviously be having all the uh, 
data that is pulled from the collection right sorry yeah collection so if i start maybe irwin and ian have name starting with i right so if i just give i both the names are getting displayed but if i include r only irwin is getting displayed if i include a only uh, uh ian is getting displayed this is also getting typed because i didn't change the uh ng model here so that's the reason um I should probably say I change this. So yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today as you can see you can see this right so uh yeah thank you dan dan pride i guess yeah dan pride thank you thank you for making this suggestion this is how you would do a typical type ahead and filter the the same can be done with these two uh columns as well the same methodology can be applied and uh, uh you know these two columns can be filtered accordingly as well uh hope this helped you guys hope this helped you dan specifically uh thank you for suggesting me so that i could suggesting thank you for making the suggestion here so that i could uh, you know help out a lot of people struggling with this as well thanks uh thanks guys thanks for watching my video if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button uh i got more cool stuff coming for you this year guys i am hinting at a big announcement now and then but i'm not doing anything i guess this month surely uh, there will be a big project that i have been working on for the past 3 months i'll be making that i mean i'll i'll be releasing that this month uh, anyway stay tuned subscribe and stay tuned for that uh, thanks for watching guys if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too thank you i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye